Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Germany How It Is. Um, now a little outside video. For the last video we are all inside my apartment. So that you get an impression where I live now for the next yeah, five months. One month is over. Uh, I'm here for a job, um, especially for an internship. And yeah. The, the job, the conditions, the company is nice and good, but um, the area really, really is yeah, not so nice. I mean, look around. May what uh, see um, what I mean with nice? Uh, I think it's beautiful. Not today. It's a lot of fog there. Uh, you can't see the sky. The sun. Uh, autumn is coming or is here. Uh, it's getting more and more cold. And that is what I want to talk about. Um, I'm at the, um, the weather conditions and also how it goes in Germany with jobs or. It's not about the, the work and job situation, I already did a video about it. But what you have to know is that a lot of um, nice market companies, nice market leading companies are from Germany. And the problem with them is that they are not located in bigger city or metropolitan metropolitan areas and then you have uh, something like I have at the moment you have a re really good company you get a good job and things like that but you live in a total rural area with nothing to do like uh, a dead man's town in this way and mine it's not so worse it depends what you like if you have family um, it's the rents are cheaper here um, if you want to build a house. Um, yeah, it's all, all cheaper, but you have no, not the benefits you have in bigger cities or metropolitan areas. You have no nightlife, you have no um, act, sport activities, or not such a lot of sport activities. And yeah, most companies are located more outside. and. Germany is a more decentralistic country, which means we are not focused on some big cities, we are all more outside. Yeah. So I know a lot of people that have, um, they're very happy with their jobs and the working conditions, the payment, everything, but they live in some other part, which means that. Uh, they have to go by car every day and it's a longer distance they may travel 30 40 minutes to go to work and back just because they don't want to live in such a small town and i totally can understand that if you have family it's nice and it's quiet and it's not so expensive but yeah for me it's nothing it's not so nice and yeah you see, yeah, some cars are coming and, and that's all what happened. You cannot go out, the weather is not so nice, no, I don't like it. Um, I do it for the next, uh, for the internship, I have to do it for my studies. And after that, I, I hope I will move back to a bigger area. So, a lot of people, there yeah, are a lot of things in Germany like that small towns, connected towns, some metropolitan areas, and that is what I talk in the, the cost of living video. In the metropolitan areas, in the bigger cities, the prices rise, and this makes uh, all a little bit complicated. So be aware when you find a good and nice job in Germany uh, that it is more outside, it's in a rural area. You have to know it, and yeah, it's how it is, how it goes. Oh, but yeah, look at the beautiful grey 
guy with a fork and nothing to do you save a lot of money if you're in my age and you cannot go out there yeah. uh, also have some benefits yeah. okay thanks for watching just a little impression about where I live at the moment <laughs>